Hello everybody and welcome back to the SFA Season 16 Week 10 Game Day. We've got a massive one coming from you, or from the Mountain West, Fresno State and Chadley Brown going on the road to take on UNLV Coach Cryo and the Rebels. And uh, both of them are chasing Hawaii here, but this one, this game virtually eliminates one of these guys from the Mountain West, um, not only the Mountain West race, but also the playoff race. So going to be a big time one here. Um, Cryo, let me know. I'm going to play your music here in a second. You got to let me know if it's loud enough or not because I can't hear it from my end um, after we let our glorious intro finish out here. It's a big time game. A li little bit later than usual as we're coming off of a massive Bear Cave slate. Some incredible moments in that one. And then uh, we also had um, some great sim games. We had top 10 Georgia fall and lose. We had the number one team in the country, Oklahoma State, lose to Iowa State. So some big time moments here tonight. Um, so as always, though, we're going to watch the full game. Uh, we'll go through the rosters first so you know who's playing. And then we'll get on into it. So uh, it's going to be a fun one. UNLV, Fresno State. Let's get it going. And if you do want to uh, watch the SFA or join the SFA, you can. Links are in any of our descriptions. Check us out. Um, so, yeah, let's get on into this game. Uh, Cryo, so let me know. I'm going to play your music right now, okay? Let me know if how loud this is Whereas compared to my voice. Does it need to be louder? Does it need to be quieter? This is what I had under UNLV. I have no idea what it sounds like right now. Um, you just got to let me know, let me know, let me know. He requested his music to be played for touchdowns, so 75%, maybe a little louder. Okay, so let me go. All right, I've made it a little bit louder. Uh, we'll stick with that. I'm going to turn on the in-game audio now, and then, um, then after the first time I play it, then we'll see if it needs to be louder. But Fresno State... We all know why they're ranked, why they made the semi or the quarterfinals last season. It's on the back of Chad Lee Brown, baby. And wait, did they make? Yeah, I think they made the semifinals last year. Yeah, they they lost to Nebraska, I believe, because um, they beat USC, right? Um, in any case, Chad Lee Brown, one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Uh, 99 overall, man, and that's pretty much all on this team. You got Dan Harper, 69 overall. And their wide receivers, Gordon Patterson, Michael Bernard, and Quentin Bennett, all not very good, uh, but they got Fred Hart. Yams legend, one of the best tight ends in SFA history, absolutely dominant. He is the top target. They also got SFA player Grant Goslin right behind him. Offensive line looks like this. They are a bit beaten and battered across the line, but still okay for a G5 team. On defense, Tango Siddiqui, SFA player. He needs to have a big game today. Eric Pennington played last week, got the fumble on the goal line um, against whoever they were playing. I think it was Minnesota. So uh, he is playing big time get for them. Ricky Johnson and Mario Phillips in the middle. At linebacker, Trey Holt, Leo Bradley, and you got Patrick Clark, their best player. And on defense, you got Frank Cl Scott, Ben Coles and Tom Johnson. Actually, an incredibly deep corner room. And you got Shamik Dodson, the bus player from this year. And at safety, you got the reject Marcus Vilma, SFA guy, and Ryan Medley on the other side. Their kicker is freshman James Cole. Doesn't look like they'll be kicking it all that much today. And they're going against Coach Cryo and UNLV. Uh, quarterback is Brett Brooks, the redshirt senior, 89 speed. And Demarcus McKenzie, 98 speed, one of the best running backs in the country this season in the Heisman conversation. They also got Rush Kinghorn. He is being redshirted SFA player. At wide receiver, James Walker, Mark McLeod, and Brandon Harris. And you got Joe Hull at tight end. Um, SFA player, Yovani Vladislav, left tackle, left guard, Hardwell, Yuri Miroslav, SFA reject here in the middle, SFA, uh, right side, and Danny Hart, I do not believe is playing, he's either questionable or something, but somebody's playing there, um, on defense, you got Yabaldo Kingsbury, SFA player and rusher, on the other side, you got Javon uh, Rogers, Demarcus Davis in the middle, and linebacker Anthony Bryant, Casey Bennett, and Mike McNeil. Out wide, you got Jeff Brown. Then you got the dual SFA players, Uchenna Wimbledon and Chico uh, Bixby, the SFA players. 
Out back, you got Adam Thomas back from injury and Mark Alford. Their kicker is Austin Anderson, but I think Cody Smith, he has the longest field goal of the year. I think it is Cody Smith who is at both options, and that is where we will go. So, Coach Cryo or Coach uh, Canelli, if you guys are here, you can pick your own jersey setups. So, let me know. This is a, uh, before we get started, let me get the poll going. This is a, oh wait, I got to pick this one. This is an Auburn cover. Okay, so... Who covers? This is Fresno State. They have the two and a half point spread. Or are you going to go with UNLV at plus 2.5? Got two minutes on the clock. Got to get like my thumbnail and stuff. You want to go OG red top and black bottoms. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. So got to get my thumbnail here for the highlight video. Remember... VODs come out tonight, highlights tomorrow from this game, and all the Bear Cave games will be posted after this, and then also recruits later tonight as well. Um, alrighty, so you said let's do OG, Red Top, and the Black Bottoms, meaning that for these guys, we are going to go with, I get to choose... I mean, yeah, I mean, they're, this team is known for the script helmets. So I got to just go with the white script. And uh, But do they have a blue? Ooh. Eh. No, we got to go with white, unfortunately. All right, so all white here. All right. And UNLV gets that. All right, remember, guys, that uh, the stadium that we use is, uh, is a lot uh, dimmer. For UNLV so the dome is very dim it's not the game messing up it's just the stadium and we, we've been there quite a bit so um, I'll be also turning on the Texans Jets game not sure uh, not sure um, what the score is there all right so let's get on into this nine minutes on the clock for both sides who will come out with the victory? Who is going to threaten Hawaii in the division? Both have already a loss in conference. Fresno State lost to Wyoming. Tough one for them. And then I forget who UNLV lost to. Um, was it Nevada? Someone dumb that they should not have lost to. So let's get on into Here we go. Canelli and UNLV. Fresno State made the semifinals last year of the CFP. UNLV almost made the CFP a couple of seasons ago. Both have chances. Best pass offense in the country. Best quarterback in the country, in my opinion, for Chadley Brown. My God, this is the longest intro I've ever seen. All right, let's skip past this so we get our UI. And no score yet in this Thursday night football game. Gross. All right, here we go. So UNLV will kick it off here first. We'll see Chadley Brown. Big time kick there from UNLV. And here we go. We've had some insane game days here at Allegiant Stadium before. Here's hoping for another one. Bear Cave was incredible. Chadley Brown doesn't have a ton of weapons around him, but he is one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Hand off here to Dan Harper. Big time run immediately. Harper gets 12. So nice play to start it out here for Chadley and company. First and 10 for Chadley. Another handoff. UNLV definitely was not expecting this game plan to start. You'd think they're going heavy, heavy pass. But Dan Harper, two plays, two carries, 19 yards. Second and three now here for the Bulldogs. Man in motion, that's Fred Hart. His top target, Yams legend. Quick throw over the middle, tipped away. What a play from the defender there. Can be a third down here early on for Chadley. 
Starts out 0 for 1. Very interesting. Third and three. Can UNLV get off the field early? You'd love to see them generate some pass rush. Looking at you, Ubaldo. Is over the middle, wide open man. That'll be a first down for Grant Goslin, SFA player. He's recruited to take over Fred Hart's role, but Fred Hart decided to come back for another year after not declaring. So first and 10, here we go. They fake the handoff and throws that one and another tip ball, this time by Bixby, trying to get it to Fred Hart. Putting a cornerback on Fred Hart right there. Interesting choice. It worked out for them. Going back to the goal line formation now. They're going to throw it again. Throwing that deep and oh, it's dropped by the receiver. Looks like uh, Fresno State likes those mismatches from their tight ends on those uh, deep corners and safeties. So third and 10 now. Chadley fakes the handoff, floats it over the middle, wide open man, first down Bulldogs. It's Michael Bernard. Beautiful break there, never had a chance. His second completion here, only 40% to start it. So if you're a UNLV fan, you got to like the start to this ball game by, uh, by the defense, but you'd like to get off the field. First and 10, pistol formation. Chadley makes an adjustment, quick throw coming. He holds on to it. He's running left. He goes off the back foot, and he completes it. Michael Bernard again. This man is a magician. In every single time he drops back to pass, man, there's a chance at a touchdown. This man has an absolute missile of an arm. Put it only where his man could get it. First and 10 inside the 20. Handoff. It's Harper. He has a chance. He breaks through one. He's still on his feet. They finally call him down after seven. Averaging eight and a half a carry. That's not a good, good thing to happen here for UNLV. Second and three. Chadley hands it off. It's a keeper up the gut. Touchdown, Fresno State. It's Chadley Brown. Opening drive TD for the Bulldogs. All right. So UNLV got to figure it out. Let's see what the offense has in store. I figured this would be a game with not a lot of defense. So as long as UNLV's offense matches the energy, this should be a good game. Cannot have a slow start as we get a lot of different plays. And how about Coastal? Bryce Beers, baby. Breaking the Troy curse in double OT. Big time week for him. And I think some Coastal fans really enjoy that Troy win more than virtually any other win. As we get a nice return here. Broken tackle. Larry Wood takes it past the 30. So here comes UNLV, their first drive of the ball game. First and 10. Brett, he has time, he takes off, he does have a ton of speed, there he goes. It's going to be a big time gain here up to the 50. Nice start for UNLV. Brett Brooks, not necessarily known for his speed, but it is a good part of his game. As he stiff-armed the wrong way, he needs to keep his eyes downfield there. So fresh set of downs at the 50. Their key player here is Demarcus McKenzie, the Legion of Dread member. And then James Walker, one of the leading receiving targets in the country. Deep drop here for Brooks. He's going to float that one out of bounds. So it will be interesting to see how UNLV attacks the pass as this is a very deep corner class, especially considering G5 talent all in the 80s. So they hand it off to Marcus McKenzie, his first touch of the day. He breaks one in, brought down by Tango Siddiqui, the SFA player. Would like him to have a big time game. So third down and 10 here for UNLV early. 
Brooks is going to be a screen to Demarcus McKenzie. He gets some room. He cuts outside, and he can't get there. So decision time here early, and they're not going to go for it. They're going to bring out the punt unit. Interesting idea. Maybe a fake? No, they're just going to try to pin him deep. That's going to go out the back of the end zone. So Chadley Brown will come out for his second drive of the ball game. So UNLV had a couple of good plays, but just couldn't put it together. Now they got to stop him. Goal line formation here for Chadley. Grant Goslin motions out wide. It's going to be a throw again. They throw it, and it tipped away. Jeff Brown. I'm telling you, man, these corners are playing well. A couple of SFA players out there. All eyes on these defenders. They're bringing the safety here. Interesting call. They get to him. That's going to be a sack. The linebacker is off the edge. They were busy with Ubaldo, and the linebacker gets home. Not often you see Chadley go down. He normally gets rid of it. So third and 17. Big chance here for UNLV. Deep drop here. They're going to yam that deep. Hits his man. It's a first and more. There they go down the sideline. Michael Bernard again. Already 77 yards here in the first four minutes. He has three of his passes. Got behind Bixby. You got to feel like that is a bit deflating. A massive chance for UNLV fans. And here comes Chadley in the hurry up. Four man rush floats this one short. Wide open man. That's Bernard and he gets nine. Gotta stop Michael Michael Bernard here. Turning into a big time target. Threatening 100 yards already here in the first quarter. So second and one now. As we approach the halfway point of the first quarter. Across the 50. Full house time. Interesting considering running back is not a strong suit. Dan Harper, the 69 overall, runs for 14. First down here for Fresno. They're inside the 30. This run defense is not looking good here for UNLV. They bring a blitz. They get through. Broken sack. Yams it. Intercepted. They're going the other way. The Rebels have picked off Chadley Brown. And it's all for the safety. Rattled him with the sack attempt. And he just threw it deep. So here comes UNLV. They're on their own 15. But no points. He'll fake the handoff there. Brett Brooks. He's going to be sacked. That's Dango Siddiqui. What a start to this ball game. Very interesting start to say the least. My goodness. This one very well could be going very back and forth. So I form second and forever. They hand it to the fullback. And it's Alex Newby. He gets four. So third and 14, they're out empty now for Brooks. See if he can do something here. Over the middle, hits McKenzie, and he can't fall forward. It took everybody, but they finally stop him. Thought he was going to roll over there for it, but no. So punt unit has to come on out. Great attempt there for McKenzie. No fake, as they will punt this right back. So despite no score on the last one, I love the Shamik Dodson returns. So no score on the last drive, but Fresno State is moving it. First and 10, Chadley Brown. 
And off to Dan Harper. He's had his way, and he does it again. Another big-time run for Dan Harper. He's, uh, he's averaging 10 a carry right now. Tough, tough scenes here for UNLV. Across the 50. Counter now to Harper. He cuts up field. He gets a block. He stiffies a man. There he goes. Another big play. I did not have Dan Harper running down their throat on my bingo card here on for this game. Cryo, what are you doing on defense? Selling out for the throw, I guess. Eight first downs. My goodness. So first and ten, Chadley. It's another handoff to Dan Harper. He gets another big hole. What is happening? Not a soul in sight in the middle. Three straight 10-plus yarders. You would think Dan Harper was the generational talent. Inside the 20. It's nothing special either. They're just running halfback dives. We'll hand this off again. Harper cuts up field. Broken tackle. Touchdown! Dan Harper straight to the dome. A four-play drive. All Dan Harper. My goodness, absolute pure domination there for Dan. Four rushes, 60 yards. Cryo, we may not hear your fight song today. <laughs> My goodness. All right, well, did UNLV have some fight? They got punched in the mouth here. Potential face mask missed. Punched in the mouth. How are you going to come back? Had a few drives. Moved the ball a bit, but just short a couple of times. Going with the goal line formation. Demarcus McKenzie. He gets seven. Dan Harper's running like we thought Demarcus uh, McKenzie would run. Still early. UNLV hasn't really had the ball much. Still plenty of time. Under center, they'll fake this to McKenzie. They'll throw it. Brooks takes off. He has some room, and he'll slide before he's hit. First and 10 now up at the 42. Back under center is Brett Brooks. McKenzie, a quick throw out wide, and oh my, that was risky, but they got to James Walker. Corner playing way off. feel like there's a better way to, to do that play, but it's all right. Got to get your receivers warmed up. Got to get the ball in his hands. Second and 10 now. Back under center. Drums feels like a college football 25 lobby. Second and 10 now. Free blitzer. He gets it off, and it's a catch. What a play from Brandon Harris. Brett Brooks, man, right in his face immediately. So third and three, can they keep the drive going? Hand off to McKenzie, cross the field, he doesn't get it. Their inability to move the ball on third down, and they're going for it early. They know they need this right here, right now. Fourth down, what is the call? A quick throw on the bubble screen, and he gets it! I don't think we've ever seen a bubble screen on fourth down. What a call by Cryo, and it works. Will that spark this offense? Fresh set of downs here. First quarter coming to a close. McKenzie now gets himself a nice hole for eight. Here come the Rebels. Second and two. And off to McKenzie. He tries to get outside, breaks a few, and he loses yardage. So the first quarter comes to the end. Fresno State leads by 14 in this critical conference matchup. Can you, but UNLV's driving. Can they convert? 
They've yet to convert a third down as we flip the field. Critical third down, they're in the shotgun. Brooks, it's going to be a handoff to McKenzie. He gets it with ease. Drive continues. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Come on, UNLV. Let's get her done. First and 10. They bring a blitz. He has time. He gets away, and he falls forward for maybe one. Feel like going to the left side that time might have been better. Second and nine now. Trips left. Hands it off to McKenzie, who stumbles, maybe gets four here. It'll be another third down here for UNLV. So third and five, eight minutes left here. A little bunch formation. Brooks hits his man as McKenzie breaks a tackle inside the 10. Their first big play of the ball game. And it's clear to see that DeMarcus McKenzie is the target pretty much every play. This offense runs directly through him. The wheel route getting wide open down the field. First and goal. What a response we've gotten here from UNLV. Multiple third down and fourth down conversions inside the 10. Can they finish it? Hand off here to Marcus. He stiffies one, gets maybe back to the line. Second and goal. Shotgun for UNLV. Tight end in motion. Brett Brooks. Close that short, turns up field, and he can't get anything. Another critical third down. Welcome in, Coach Wind. Very interesting Mountain West matchup going on. Brett Brooks has all the time in the world here. He's going to throw it, and he missed the wide open man. No. And they're going to have to settle for the field goal. About a 22-yarder here to make it 14-3, to and it goes through. So would have liked to get the touchdown there. Uh, let me know if we want it louder, Cryo. So here's the return now for Fresno State. They'll get past the 25. That's Shamik Dodson, the bust. All right, so 14-3. to 3. UNLV desperately needs to figure out how to stop the run. Didn't think I'd be saying that two quarters in. Here's a handoff to Dan Brown, and they stop him for four. Let's go. His shortest run of the game, he's averaging 11 a carry, already over 100 yards for Dan Harper. My goodness. Second and six now. Shotgun trips left. I don't think Fred Hart has a catch yet. Really uh, cosplaying his yams legacy. Chadley Brown yams it deep down the seam. Diving grab, tipped away by the safety. What a deflection. Fred Hart laid out for it, and another great play from this defense. Third and six. They bring a blitz over the middle, hits him, and it's Bernard again for a first. Unreal. You can't make this up. Five of the six passes have gone to Michael Bernard. First and ten, it's quick option. Chadley breaks the first tackle, flips it out to Harper. Cuts inside, gets six. Elite field vision here from Chadley Brown, one of the best quarterbacks in the country. You can see why this team made the semifinals last year with virtually no roster. Hand off here to Dan Harper. He cuts outside, breaks a tackle. There he goes. Another missed opportunity here from the UNLV defense. 
First and 10 across the 50. Back to the goal line formation. My goodness. The fullback dive this time. They stop him. Maybe somehow gets five for Kennery. Goodness gracious. And oh boy, CJ Stroud is hurt watching this game. Second and five for Chadley. And he goes down. That's a sack, and it's Uvaldo Kingsbury. So third and 13 for Chadley. Empty set. It's a QB draw, and he is not going to get it. Another stop here from UNLV. Punt unit comes out a big time moment here for Coach Cryo. you got to be able to score. Remember, UNLV does get the ball after halftime. Looks like that's going to go through the back of the end zone. So just over four minutes left in the half. Chance to pull back within four. They get a touchdown here. See if they can find the big play. Single back, two tight ends. Hand off to Demarcus McKenzie. Trying to get him in space, and he can't. Brought down in the backfield. It's going to be tough for them to move the rock here. If they can't break first contact. Second and 12. Brooks under center. He makes an adjustment. Going to go back to the shotgun. Second and 12 now. Brooks has time. He escapes. He cuts up field and he slides. Felt like he had some more running room there, but he chose to go down. Third and seven, safety's coming on down. That's Vilma. Going to be a screen pass here. Oh, tipped away by Vilma. He almost picked that off. Yes, if a reject almost making a splash. It's a three and out. It's our first three and out of the ball game. Actually, our second. So Fresno State getting the ball right back here. And they'll start out about the 45. So Chadley Brown's only thrown it 12 times so far today. No touchdowns, one interception. If I would have told you that stat line was what the game was looking like, you would have thought UNLV was up by two touchdowns. First and 10. Chadley drops back, four-man rush. Dumps that off and gets maybe two to Quentin Bennett, his first catch of the ball game. 7 to 13 pass in, 104 yards. Second and eight, pistol, two tight ends. Over the middle, hits his man on the slant, and that's going to be a first down to Gordon Patterson. Chains move. So first and 10 now. Chadley. Floats that, and that is a catch for Fred Hart. He gets five. His first reception of the ball game. Chadley being a lot more conservative here on this drive. Dinkin and Duncan. Four wide. We got some press. Watch the yam, especially motioning out Dan Harper. Chadley dumps that out wide. Wide open man. It's Bernard. My goodness. Michael Bernard is going nuclear here tonight. Just outside the 20-yard line now for Fresno State. Chadley Brown fakes the handoff. Play action rolls way right. Plenty of time here. Dumps it now to Hart, and he's going to lose yardage. Nice play there from the linebacker coming on down. Red Hart was getting bullied by Kingsbury here. <laughs> Finally peeled off and ended up losing some yardage. 
That play made possible by Ubaldo Kingsbury. So second and 12 now. And hit as he throws, he gets it to Harper, who breaks a tackle. He's still going to lose some yardage. So once again, UNLV's defense holding. Be third in a mile here. Third and 13. It's not raining. Over the middle, and that is going to be seven for Quentin Bennett. So fourth down. Yeah, it's not raining here. It's, uh, in this game, this stadium is just super dark. So the field goal to extend the lead back to 14, and it's no good. He whiffed. Pushed it left, the freshman kicker. Pooping his pants here to Legion. Will that spark the Rebels? Brett Brooks takes off. There he goes. He has some room. Can he get a block? He lowers the shoulder. He gets 13. Oh, my. First and 10. About a minute left. Feels like UNLV might start cooking here. They bring an all-out blitz. Brooks escapes. He cuts inside. What a move from Brooks, and they trip him up. He gets nine. Clock continues to run. Would have liked him to get past that first down marker. At the 42, they're hurrying it up. Man in motion, 40 seconds left. They bring in the blitz again. It's picked up again, and he's sacked this time. Down he goes. 30 seconds left. Clock continues to run. They're just sitting on two timeouts, too. 24 seconds. And they're adjusting the play. What is happening? Brooks snapped the ball. 16 seconds. He yams it deep. Hits him. Broken tackle. Touchdown, UNLV. James Walker for 58 on your dome. That was such a chaotic play into a, an amazing moment. What are they doing? I guess they know better than I do. As here's the extra point to put it within four. And James Walker, who's among the lead, lead or the the nation leaders in receiving yards, showing why right there, breaking the tackle and outrunning them all to the end zone. So just like that, Fresno State dominates this half, and they only have a four-point lead. UNLV hanging tough. You just got to be in this game to the end. So seven seconds. See if they just fall on it. Yep, that's exactly what they're going to do. So as we hit halftime, folks, Fresno leads 14-10 despite domination. Oh, man, and UNLV gets the second half kickoff as well, folks. Oh, my. Oh, my, oh, my. Cryo's hanging around. Don't let Cryo hang around too long. So as we look at the first half stats and the thing that jumps off the page, the rushing yards for Fresno State, a team with a 69 starter outrunning DeMarcus McKenzie among the lead leaders. But nevertheless, they're keeping Chadley off the board. This game is within four. So UNLV is cooking. 
What was Brandon Harris? Was Brandon Harris, uh... Is he among the lead leaguers? Leaders? I thought James Walker is. So here we go. UNLV will start this half with the ball. They get a return up to the 29. Remember, critical conference game here. Winner of the Mount West does go to the playoff this year. Both these teams are one game behind Hawaii, who won their game this week. First and 10 here. Demarcus McKenzie getting the ball. He gets to the outside, breaks a tackle. Stivvy's a man. Nice start to the half. So up at the 43, see if they can build off that momentum after the half. An audible here. I form. Play action now. Brooks down the middle, and that's going to be a catch for Mark McLeod. He's had a history of some uh, some drop issues, but doesn't drop that one. Great stat line here for Brooks. 9 of 12, over 100 yards, and a touchdown. They fake it again. Brooks dumps it off to the fullback, turns up field, and he gets a nice gain of 6. Good job staying in bounds there, earning the extra yardage. Drive continues inside the 40. Here comes UNLV. Back in the goal line. These teams are loving the goal line today. Goal back dive goes nowhere. Ay, 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 Mario Phillips. He knew that was coming all day long. So third and five for the Rebels. Keep this drive going on the opening possession of the second half. Here's the audible. Brooks drops back. He takes off. He has some room. He could get there. And he breaks the tackle. He does. He's still going down to the 25. What a run from Brooks. Putting the team on his back here. Marcus McKenzie not running well. He said, fuck it, I will. Two tight ends now. And off to McKenzie to the outside. He, he goes nowhere. Brought down by Ben Coles. Coles had, or that's Ryan Medley. So McKenzie, I mean, averaging three and a half, that's all right. You'd expect a bit more, though. Second and 11. They are in field goal range, but field goals don't really help you here. They want the lead. Handoff. McKenzie to the outside. Racing to the edge. He cannot break the tackle. Third down again. McKenzie not really able to uh, break through contact here today. Get another third down. Third and nine for UNLV. Brooks floats it. Corner tipped away. Fourth down. So big stop here for this defense. Brings out the field goal unit. 41 yards from right hash. To pull within one. The kick. It's up. And it is good for UNLV. So great game we got going on here within one point into the third quarter. We had a missed field goal for Fresno State. UNLV got a deep play to end the half, and then they add a field goal. Fresno has not scored since the first four minutes of the first quarter. Pistol formation to start the half. Chadley Brown has time, dumps it to Fred Hart. He gets six. Been a non-factor here in this ball game so far. Normally a big time vertical threat. Has only three catches for nine yards. They're not audible now. To the shotgun, looks like bringing a blitz. They do, and they don't get to him, but they yam it deep, tipped away. Adam Thomas. And they got behind him, but Chadley Brown just couldn't generate enough torque on the run there. So third and four. Chance to get off the field right away here for the Rebels. Man in motion, it's Fred Hart. The snap, corner blitz. Chadley over the middle, and it's caught, and hang on. First down. 
Quentin Bennett, his third catch. You know, V fans would have loved to gotten off the field right there. They hurry it up. Chadley, once again, all out blitz, they get to him. To Marcus Davis this time. The all out blitz works again. It's their third sack of the day on Chadley. Don't often see that. Second and 18 now. Red Hart in motion. Chadley has time. Dumps this short and tipped away. Broken up. This defense, man, they've been very, very good at deflecting these balls away. Third and 18. Chance to get off the field. Chadley. And that one is tipped away at the line. They get off the field here. And UNLV's rocking. 13 unanswered points for the Rebels. Pure domination on the defensive side after that first quarter. And we get a return here. Nice little move. Gets up to the 40 for Larry Wood. All right, so here comes Brett Brooks and company. They've found the big play. They've been able to move the ball. Can they take the lead? Yet to lead in this ball game. Hand off to Kenzie, and he gets maybe eight. They'll call it nine. Second and one here for UNLV. Maryland die time. Didn't know they had this in their repertoire. Is it's a fullback dive? It doesn't get it. It'll be third down. Third one here for UNLV. Two tight ends. Man in motion. Drop for Bray. He gets escapes. He has some room. He cuts inside. Oh, what a hit. He hits 13. The drive continues. Welcome in the, the viewers here. This is uh, the most viewed game day here in a couple of weeks. Especially on Halloween night. Welcome, welcome. First and 10, fakes the handoff. Brett Brooks, he corks it, and a call to catch to James Walker. He got a foot in. So inside the 20, trying to take their first lead of the day. Brooks over the middle and dropped. Tackled by his own offensive lineman. Looks like that was uh, Yovani Vladislav. Tipped that one away from his own guy. Second and 10 from the 19. Back to the uh, goal line formation. Safety's coming on down. Motion. Fullback dive again. When are they going to learn this play doesn't work? UNLV trying to keep them honest. I don't know if they're trying to set up the fake fullback dive, but my oh my, third and forever. Brooks drops back. Off the back foot, almost intercepted. That was risky. So fourth down, they'll bring out the kicker, a 37-yarder to take their first lead of the day. The kick. It's up, and it is good! UNLV leads 16-14. to 14. What a game we've got going here. Right down the middle. So Chadley Brown, no points in two and a half quarters. What are you doing? Dare I say, they got to get Dan Harper back involved on the ground. They're the Rebels. So Chadley Brown trips right. He keeps it now. We haven't seen him run too much today as he pushes forward. 
He gets nine. He can run. He had the he had a rushing touchdown earlier. So Chadley hands this off to Dan Harper. He finds the outside. He's been amazing on the ground. Look at him go! 13! That Bulldog's so ugly, man. I don't know. But Dan Harper is absolutely cooking this rush defense. They got to just stay running the ball, man. Chadley Brown, step aside. It's Dan Harper time. Is This is a QB power that goes nowhere. What is he doing? So second and 11 now, back to the goal line formation. They love their tight ends, but come on. Is there going to audible now into the pistol? Grant Goslin motions out along with Fred Hart. Got some mismatch going here. Going to throw this to Goslin over the middle, and he's going to get about five. It'll be third and six. Third down for Chadley Brown. Losing, and that's going to keep it in fourth. Short. And they're going for it. Offense stays on the field. Fourth down and two. Quick option for Chadley. It goes nowhere. Yabaldo turns him over. Uh-oh, Fresno. UNLV has woken up. They've got the ball at the 50. We got an upset brewing on game day, folks. 16 unanswered points. The handoff now to McKenzie, and he gets seven. But if you really want to win a game like this, you got to score a touchdown. Field goals do not win you games. You got to be able to score the dagger. Rep Brooks. About 10 minutes left in this game day. Hands it off. That goes nowhere. Fresno's defense has to come through again. That's the first tackle today for Pennington. The 87 overall defensive end. Third and five. Massive third down here. They're empty. Brett Brooks. He's going to yam it to the corner, and he's short. Brandon Harris didn't know where the line of scrimmage was. And they're going for it now. Did they not just learn? Fresno can get the ball back. Man in motion. Brooks. It's going to be a throw. Brooks. He did. He gets there. Brett Brooks breaks three tackles. The drive continues. UNLV. This might be the final play of the third quarter. They bring a blitz. Brooks, he escapes again. He cuts off field. You have the block. And as we head to the fourth quarter, folks, oh my, upset alert in Las Vegas. The Rebels ate their Wheaties this morning. They are playing out of their mind. Can they hang on? You just know Chadley Brown's going to punch back at least once. Second and four. Under center inside the 35. Hand off to McKenzie. He cuts outside and they bring him down. Third down again. Third and one. Chance for Fresno. Single back. Third and one. McKenzie gets it with ease. And they're threatening the red zone. The Bulldog can't believe it. They've got to get a stop. They cannot let him score a touchdown. It would push it to two scores. First and 10. Brooks and shotgun. The handoff to McKenzie out wide. He turns the corner and he gets himself seven. Here come the Rebels. Second down. 
Back in shotgun. Eight minutes left. Kind of in motion. Delay give. A throw. Out the back of the end zone. Incomplete. Clock stops. Third and three. Can Fresno hold them to a fourth field goal? Quick throw out wide. What are you doing, Brett? Gave him no chance. So the field goal unit coming out for a chip shot to push it to five. The kick hits up and it's good. No touchdown yet again. Just letting Chadley Brown sit in this game. And we all know with just one chuck, one yam from the Chadley Brown cannon, this could be all uh this could be all over. Pistol formation. Eight minutes left. Fresno needs a touchdown. Haven't scored since the first quarter. And Harper gets five. Second and five now. Hand off to Dan Harper on the counter. He pushes forward. He keeps it going. What a run from Dan Harper. Dan Harper and Michael Bernard have been the MVPs of this offense so far today. Goal line formation. Makes the handoff. They're going to throw it. And he hits Fred Hart. Breaks a tackle. He gets to the outside. Breaks another. Breaks a third. 23 from Hart. He is so dangerous. One of the best deep threats in the country, especially at the tight end position. He can score at a moment's notice. That's why they like to go into the goal line so much. They got Grant Goslin. They got Fred Hart. Two mismatched tight ends that can match up with anybody on that defense. First and ten. Here come the Bulldogs. Oh no, watch the yam. They're going mass press. And they hit him on the slant. That's Gordon Patterson for 14. His second catch of the day. This drive's going too quick though. Six and a half minutes remaining. Chadley. Drops back, plenty of time, dumps that short. They turn up field. That's Patterson again. He gets nothing. UNLV has been so good today. Win the bend, but don't break. Back to goal line. Watch number 84. It's going to be the fullback dive. They get to the outside. He breaks a tackle. First down for Kennery. A fullback die for 10 is nasty work. Six minutes left inside the 20. Fred Hart in motion. Brown takes off. He has the right side. He cuts up and he gets maybe six. This game is going to be a good finish. I can feel it in my loins. An amazing week 10 here in season 16. Or season, yeah, season 16. What the fuck? Goal line, second and four. Hand off here to Dan Harper, and he gets nothing. Massive third down upcoming. Third and two. Four down territory. Down by five. Chadley over the middle. Open man. Touchdown, and who else? Michael Bernard gives Fresno State the lead back. As Chadley Brown continues to shatter Derek Carr's passing records. And they're going for two to make this a three-point game. Snap, handoff, Dan Harper up the gut, and he converts. 
22-19. Told you, man. Field goals weren't going to cut it. You've got to get a touchdown. Five minutes. Here's the return. They get some pancakes. He cuts it to the sideline. Big time return up to the 40. Big time return. What does this drive have in store? It's going to be a fake. Oh, no. Fake end around turn. Sack for Pennington. Not a good start there. You can't take the sack in that situation. I mean, you never saw him, but why are you running that play? You can't run that play in that situation. Second and 17. UNLV. Dumps it off to McKenzie. Got to maybe get back. Yeah, he gets some nice yardage there. He gets nine. Be a third manageable. Definitely don't want to punt this ball. Third down, empty set. Brett Brooks. Third and eight. He floats it. Open man. It's McKenzie. First down, Rebels. The big moments are for the big-time players, and UNLV comes up clutch there. The drive continues. Four minutes left. Play action. Brooks yams it deep, hits his man. He has some room inside the 10. It's Brandon Harris. Another big-time play. This might be one of those games where the team with the ball last wins it. UNLV now is in perfect position to score a touchdown, but they have been unable to convert inside the red zone. They have four field goals. First and goal. Hand off to DeMarcus McKenzie up the middle. He gets three. Clock is ticking inside four minutes. Things are getting, getting stressful. Cheeks are clenching. Second and goal. Goal line formation. Brooks, it's a toss to McKenzie. Does he have the edge? Oh, he gets some pancakes. That's a touchdown. UNLV has the lead. Yovani Vladislav. The five-star SFA recruit leads the way. Pancake after pancake. Touchdown, Rebels. He could have crawled in. So a quick response there from UNLV. We didn't think they had it in them. The return into a couple big plays. Now Fresno State's right back on their back foot. 26-22, this game is opening up. Chadley Brown, does he have another miracle in him? Hand off here to Dan Harper. He stiffies a man, cuts outfield. What a tackle. That was a touchdown if he didn't bring him down there. Dan Harper, 159 on the ground. My God, what a day. And they're losing somehow. Second and four. Chadley. Another handoff to Dan Harper. Big time hole up the middle. He spins for 14. Up at the 42 now. They're hurrying it up. Clock becoming a factor. Quick option. Breaks the tackle from Chadley. He's still going. Chadley, another broken tackle. A third. Chadley Brown keeps it for 23. Chadley would not be denied. Two minutes, 30 seconds. First and 10 at the 35. Quick option again. This time they bring him down in the backfield. Demarcus Davis not letting it happen again. Second and 14. Once again, a field goal will not help you here. Trips right. Chadley. 
Dumps that short to Fred Hart, and he gets the toes in back to the original line of scrimmage. They got two downs. Third and ten, under two minutes. Shotgun for Chadley, three-man rush. He has time over the middle. Hits his man. He completes it. It's a first. No, they're going to call him short. Michael Bernard could not stretch. It's fourth and inches. Game on the line. Split backs for Fresno. They hand it to Dan Harper and he doesn't get it. They call him short. The man averaging 10 a carry can't get inches. Oh my God. And now a first down could win him the game. What are we watching? How did Dan Harper not get that? He's averaging nine a carry. 123 left. McKenzie gets him the first. One more first down and it's over. UNLV might have just done it. They're in victory formation. Now, obviously, they'll snap it here. Third and 15. If Fresno State can somehow get him to stop the clock, we've seen it already once today. What is going to be the call from Coach Cryo to shut this game down? It's third and 15. Are they going to actually throw the ball? Third and 15. Game on the line for the Rebels. The upset. Rolling right is Bret Hart. He going to throw it. It's caught. And that should end the game. That should do it. I don't think they're going to snap the ball. I don't think they'll snap it. And as we hit triple zeros, they've done it. Coach Cryo and UNLV have upset Chadley Brown and the Fresno State Bulldogs at home. They were down 14-0 in the first quarter, and they hung in there. Even with Dan Harper running for 160 right to the dome, they hang in there, they play their game, they get their four field goals, and they find a way to win. Fresno State has just been knocked out of the playoff race. Knocked out of the division. And Chadley Brown will not return to the college football playoff. What an unreal game, and what a day for Coach Cryo. Congratulations. As we'll play the fight music, we'll, we'll look at the stats and everything. Um, remember, guys, I am going to uh, post all of the games uh, from Bear Cave and Game Day, and then I'm going to um, eat dinner, and then I'll do recruits. Wow. All right. So as we look at the scoring summary, like I said, they scored two very quick touchdowns. And then uh, UNLV, the game turned when they got this long touchdown um, to end the half. And then it was just nothing but UNLV pretty much the second half until Fresno finally scored. And they just couldn't punch it in one more time. That fourth down, man, I don't know how they stopped him, but they did. Chadley Brown, 23-32, 216, a one touchdown, one interception. Run the ball, Dan Harper killed it on the ground, but he couldn't get the one that mattered the most, that fourth in inches. Receiving the ball, Michael Bernard was incredible. Fred Hart didn't do much. Grant Goslin only had two catches. And on defense, Patrick Clark led the way. Uh, TFLs go to Siddiqui and Medley. 
Two sacks here for Sadiqui today. Pennington had one as well. No interceptions, though, for the defense. And no forced fumbles or anything. And for UNLV, Brett Brooks, 16 for 24, 209, a touchdown. No interceptions here. And Demarcus McKenzie, 95 yards on the ground. He didn't need to be at his best today, and but he led them in receiving beside James Walker at a few big-time plays. Uh, and then how about Yovani Vladislav leading the way on that game, winning touchdown with the pancakes. And uh, Bixby leading the way on the tackles. A lot of TFLs here. Four total sacks. They were in Chadley Brown's face all day long. Critical pick by Alford. The deflections were plentiful. They played this game exactly the way they needed to. And they stole one here from Fresno State. Unreal. Let's check the players of the game. What a day in the SFA. An amazing Bear Cave slate. An amazing game day, man. That was a great game through and through. We had a fun watch party as well. Nice, beautiful Halloween finish. As this was, for those of you guys at home, UNLV outright victory for your Bear Caves. So let me pay out those of you guys who bet. All right. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, tuning in, taking your time. Uh, to spend with the SFA season 17 we're changing a lot of things and and uh, just gonna make it a lot better um, so stick with us we'll see you next week and recruits will come a little bit later on tonight so peace thanks for watching and uh, yeah